Hi friends this is Microsoft Excel series and you are watching Digimastery channel in this video i am going to explain advanced level of pivot table you can watch basic level of pivot table in my previous video link is given on i button or also in video description let's start you can see this data set in sheet 2 now first we clear this pivot table click inside pivot table and go to analyze tab over here click on action drop down arrow and click clear drop down and select clear all now you can see pivot table is clear click inside pivot table fields show now we are going to create a report and criteria of this report is show salesman total sales according to item and company wise first we click on company field and drag it to column box here now click on item and drag it down to row box now click on salesman field and drag it down to row box. Now select total sales field and drag it down to value box. You can see how easily we create a report according to our requirement. You can see here item if we click here on minus sign you can see plus sign again click on plus sign salesman show again these salesman sales hard disk item and you can see this item company name over here now you can see item subtotal if you want to these subtotal not show just click any item and right click now you can see subtotal item option click on this now you can see subtotal disappear from pivot table if you want to show subtitle just click on any item and right click now click on this subtotal item you can show subtitle of each item in pivot table now you can also hide and show this grand total click inside pivot table go to design tab and click on this drop down arrow and select first option now you can see grand total disappear from pivot table now we remain this grand total option on in previous video i can explain how to add zero in blank cells do you remember or not first click inside pivot table and right click and select pivot table option click on layout and format tab and here enter zero and remain this check mark as it is and press ok i hope you remember this all the blank cells fill with zero now move cursor over here when this down black arrow show left click all items selected now right click now right click and go to expand and collapse option and select collapse option now you can see all item group is closed 
if you want to see any specific item salesman list you can click on this item for example we want list of salesman of mouse item just click over here you can see all sales record of mouse item now you can easily print this report now clear this pivot table like this how to change pivot table layout now this time we change pivot table layout click inside pivot table and right click and select pivot table option now click on display tab and check mark this option and press ok now this is too much easy to understand now create a report you can see here drop row fields here click on item and drag it to over here company item show here and total sale fields drag to values field here now report is created how easy is that over here you can see drop report filter field here for this click salesman field and drop over here now filter is apply to this report click on this drop down you can see all salesman name if you click any salesman and press ok you can see all sales record of this specific salesman you can also print this report by pressing control plus p now if you select multiple items through this you can select multiple sales record like this clear all this now we move back to our simple display pivot table group in pivot table first we click and drag down this age field to row click inside pivot table right click and select group now in grouping we start by 1 and end with 60 year and difference is by 10 and press okay according to age we create group change column heading if you want click on total sales field and drag to value box now change formula to count if you want total sales just again click and drag total sales field to value box now you can see age group count of sales of each group and also total sales record clear all this now go ahead how to add slicer and timeline in pivot table first we create a report like this now click inside report go to analyze tab and select insert slicer this is advanced filter function now in this fields we select item salesman 
and press OK. Now you can see two slicer we add. If we click on salesman, all sales record show. If we click on specific item, it show only that specific item sales record. If we click on multiple select, we can select multiple options. Now press Alt F1 to add chart. Now you can change design of this chart. Go to design tab, select any design. If we select slicer option, you can see chart change according to this. So this is now dynamic chart. You can see chart data change when we apply filter. Now clear this. Click inside pivot table and go to analyze tab. Select this time. Insert timeline. Click on date and press OK. Now you can see timeline that is months. Select months like this one by one. Select multiple months like this. You can see data is change according to months. If we click on this drop down. You can select years, quarters, month and days option also. If we select year, you can see years record. You can also watch quarter sales record like this. Now clear this all from here. I hope you will learn something new. Please friends practice this. Select your criteria of report. Generate that report and apply filters. Practice make perfect. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and comment. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.